I have sources injected into Minecraft and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it. If you want the download then you can do so through my discord server or through the tutorial video which I will both link down in the description below. Anyways let's get right in. So by default to open up this client you want to press on the tab button on your keyboard. It's usually on the left hand side and that will open up this click GUI area right over here. This contains all of the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off and you can actually right click on all of these and you'll get an entire customization menu. Of course not all of them have this much customization it varies per utility and they all have custom customization menus so the customizations for all of these are unique per utility anyways you'll have noticed it you get notifications down here when you turn something on and a notification once again once you turn something off you can turn those off right over here just like these sounds as well. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear it right now but you get a sound every single time you enable or disable something and you can turn that off as well if you do wish to do so. For the rest, as you can see, a few of these things have been enabled by default and a lot of them can be found on your screen. Right over here in the bottom left hand side we have the level info, on the top left hand side we have the solstice watermark and in the top right hand side we have the array list. In this case the array list displays all active utilities. As you can see, anyways Opening this up right over here, you can of course turn off all of these. If you're not sure what a utility does, then you can hover above it just like so. If you want to remove these things from, well, your screen, you can turn off the watermark, array list, as well as level info. Now closing out of here, as you can see, they're all removed from my screen. However, I can of course still use Solstice. As for closing out of here, you can do so by pressing tab once again or by using the escape button, which I just realized looks literally the exact same, so there's no reason for me to show that twice. Anyways, I'll just turn a few of these back on again because I definitely don't mind them being there. For the rest, in the actual array list, you can click on these utilities and that'll automatically turn them off. For you, in this visual area you have a few more things that can show up on your screen. An example of this is the keystrokes. As you can see, now it's on my screen over there, but there's a problem. It's overlapping with the level info and I obviously don't want that. So I can open up the click GUI again and then I can go over to this, the HUD editor. This will bring me to an area where I can move around all of these utilities. I can put this wherever I want. Maybe I want it down there. Sure. Then I can close out of here, and there we go. Not sure what happened there, but I'm back. Um, and as you can see, there we are. It's now being successfully moved. And of course, I can just turn that off again if I do wish to do so. For the rest, we also have an IRC. This is the in-game relay chat. And what this allows you to do is directly chat with other players um, that are also using Solstice. Now, to use this, um, it automatically tries to connect you. However, you need to authenticate with Discord to use it and use their official injector, which you can find in their Discord server, which is something that I haven't done right now as I don't really feel like using the IRC. If you are using the injector, then the IRC will be enabled by default. Anyways, a few more notable things over here is the level info, which I talked about earlier, gets displayed in the bottom left hand side over there, it displays some really useful things, and you can actually customize all of these things it shows. As you can see, it's not even showing everything right now, and if you only want to see specific things, you can customize that. For the click GUI, which is this entire area, you can actually customize it as well. There's not a whole lot of customization, but there are a few things you can do if you do wish to do them. Now that isn't actually all because closing out of the click GUI area, we can open up the chat and Solstice Client actually has custom commands. In contrary to regular commands, which all start with the slash, Solstice commands start with the dot. And we can type dot help in chat over here and this is going to give us a list of all of the commands that we can use. These commands also contain a complete description 
of what they actually do. If you're not sure how to use a command, for example, the bind command over here, we can simply type in the chat dot help bind just like this. It tells you exactly what the command does as well as how to use it and an alias. Basically, what this means is that you don't have to type dot bind in chat. You can just type dot b and that is good enough. For the rest, some useful commands are the IRC command, which allows you to communicate with the IRC. You have the friend command right over here. This allows you to add friends for a Solstice client. This can, for example, be used to whitelist or blacklist certain people when using utilities. For the rest, we also have the bind command. This allows you to bind any of the modules that you see over here to any key on your keyboard. That includes the click GUI itself. As I said, by default, it is bound to tab. If you want to change that, you can simply type in dot bind or just dot b, then click GUI just like this and then literally any key you want for example F and now as you can see the click GUI is bound to F and I can press on F to open this area instead of tab. Finally we also have the config command this allows you to manage configs. Configs can be used in Solstice this client does support them. I have I think um, a pretty good config in my discord server if you want that you can join and uh, get that for yourself. Basically what a config does is it saves all of the active utilities as well as their customization settings. You can make them as well. Uh, you can just set this entire area up and then save it with the dot config command. So for example, if you have a certain setup that you like, you'll notice that if you close the client, everything gets removed. To prevent that, simply create a config and then you can use the config command to load that up every single time you want to use that specific configuration of Solstice client. Anyways, for right now, basically that was that. If you have any questions or the like, then do of course feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye!